And we have been dealing with storm after storm since the end of December, and it turns out last night's record rain fell in downtown Los Angeles. Right, and now we have a second wave of rain coming in tonight. Let's get right over to meteorologist Mary Yoon with our next weather forecast. Mary. Where is it falling right now? Well, we're starting to see the bulk of the moisture offshore, but we're seeing the showers and some light to moderate rainfall now approaching parts of West LA. And so I want to show you live on our radar. This is actually a loop of the last three hours. But as I go in, you can actually see there is going to be some light to moderate rain right now through Thousand Oaks. And I can just track this for you. You can see where this little douse of rain is actually going to be approaching Simi Valley over the next 15 minutes. So that's actually going to be something to be prepared for especially through the local roads uh, just south of the 101. We're also starting to see some heavy rain in the South Bay. So just Rancho Palos Verdes, Lomita, south of the 405, and now starting to see some heavy rain right now on the 241. So this is going to be that toll road right through Irvine from Corona. And we're going to continue to just see areas where we'll see some heavy rain and even some snow. So right now you can see the shades of light purple and pink, some snow indications there from Wrightwood in towards Big Bear Lake. This this is going to be more of a snowmaker. We do expect rainfall rates with the second storm system to be less than what we saw yesterday and what we saw on Monday. But nonetheless, there are concerns once again for renewed or aggravated flooding problems. All right, let's talk about how much rain has fallen over the last 24 hours. Very impressive numbers. Culver City picking up two and a half inches. Downtown Los Angeles, record rainfall last night. Moore Park just coming in close to two inches and an inch and a half towards Calabasas. All right, so the next few hours will be very important because that's where we expect to see the heavier rainfall. I think towards 10 o'clock and towards early tomorrow morning approaching sunrise will be the time where we could see the worst of this rainfall. But again, this is not going to be as strong or as moisture filled as what we saw yesterday or even earlier in the week. So future clouds and radar as we head towards early tomorrow morning, it looks like the worst will be across parts of the Inland Empire and towards eastern parts, southeastern parts of Orange County that continues to push east. And then as we head towards Monday afternoon, the coastal areas get a break, a little more showery towards the foothills as well. But notice the heaviest rain, the darker green will be right along that mountain range top. And then by Tuesday and Wednesday, no green just clouds and a ridge of high pressure. So some sunshine in the forecast as well. So the weather story is that expecting heavy rain tonight into early tomorrow morning, tapering to showers by the afternoon, and then the snow levels will lower. Maybe could even see snow levels right around 3,500 feet. So maybe some snow flurries in the grapevine by Tuesday morning. All right, so let's wrap it up in our seven day forecast. It's going to be remaining cold, still looking at the wet weather through early tomorrow morning drier on Tuesday into Wednesday. Maybe we could see some showers return on Thursday, but right now it is going to be very minimal and very low impact for us. Towards the valleys, we're going to be tracking again the rain, some sunshine. We dry out through Wednesday. Towards the Inland Empire, winds will be an issue through early Monday. Rain will taper off by the late evening hours and then sunshine on Tuesday. Back over to you guys. Sun